Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about growth rates, how to calculate them, and also how to determine how long it'll take for something to double in value if it continues growing at a certain rate. So obviously you could do that manually, but I'll show you through a calculation how you can do that easily within, within Excel. And so a common example might be, you know, if you've got an investment that grows by 5% each year, how long will that take to double, triple, quadruple, right? You could also take the same approach for uh, a dividend. If, if you invest in stocks and it pays you a dividend, how long until your payouts will, will double? So for this example, I'm going to start with calculating um, a, the historical growth rate and then pushing that forward to see, okay, how long, if it continued, would it take to double? So for this example, I've got dividend history from United Health Group that I'm going to use. So in just two years, the dividend has gone from gone from about one dollar and eight cent per share every quarter to one point six five. So what I'm going to do is enter a value for 2022, which is one dollar and sixty five cents per share. And for 2020, I'm going to use a dollar and eight cents. And so if you wanted to calculate, well, for one, the, the, the change in value over that time, we just take the current value divided by the previous value. So we can say that it, it's 53% higher than, actually I should say 2020, than the value in 2020. But the problem is that's, that, that covers a two-year span. If you wanted to normalize this down to an average growth rate, if we wanted to calculate the compounded annual growth rate, we could take this value and raise it to the power of one divided by the number of years. In this case, it's two. Now you can obviously do longer stretches, but for the sake of this simple example. So it's grown by an average of 23.6%. And so to prove this out, we can take this value here, multiply it by 23.6%, and then take that value and multiply it by 23.6% again, and we get 1.65. So that's how we can calculate the compounded annual growth rate. We first calculate the difference, then raise it to a factor of 1 over the number of years, so that we know how long it's been compounding for. So the rate that um, I'm going to use here is 1.236, so 23.6% roughly is the growth rate. So now... I'm going to set uh, a field here for growth rate and one for years to double. Okay, so if we want to know how long a growth rate of you know, 23.6, and I should put this in um, another format, 0 0.236, don't include the one, and then maybe convert this to a percentage just so it's easier to follow. So growth rate is 23.6 percent, and we want to know how long it's going to take to double. Now. Rather than walking you through all the algebra to get to the uh, to the formula, basically what we want to use is logarithmic functions. So Excel has a log function, and so how this works is we're going to take um, our our end goal, which is which is doubling, which is going to be a factor of two. Think of two as being you know a two hundred percent change, and then divide that by the log of this growth rate, one plus the growth rate, 1.236. And that's really your formula. So now if we convert this, it tells us it'll take about 3.27 years to double at that growth rate. And so we can prove this out by saying, okay, let's take one plus the growth rate and raise that to about 3.27 years. And so it'll double at that rate. So what we can also do is prove this out using our existing calculations because we had 1.65 here already. So if it ex it grew by another 23.6%, then it should be fairly close to doubling from 1.08. Right? So if we take this amount, multiply it by 1 plus 23.6%, now it's got 2.03. So that's not quite doubling it'd be it have to be about 2.16 but you can see it's fairly close because it's going to take about 3.3 years so another th 
one third uh, of growth at that rate would get us to doubling. So you can see that, you know, it's easy to prove this out. And so the, the main formula you need to do is take, is take the log of the growth rate you want to get to divided by one plus the, the, the current growth rate or the growth rate that you're uh, expecting it to rise by and, and putting that within a log function. So we can also say that, okay, let's say we wanted to know when it would triple in value. We could change this from a two to a three. And now it's gonna take 5.18 years for it to triple. How about quadrupling? Change it to a four. Right, so we've got a versatile function that we can use over and over again. Now, let's say our growth rate is a bit slower than 23.6%. Let's change it to something maybe a bit more, uh, you know, more reasonable. Let's take a 5% growth rate for an investment for a dividend, right? Because, I mean, two years is a really short window. And, you know, when looking at a longer stretch, it's probably going to be a bit, a bit lower than that. So at 5%, you know, it might take an investment 14, 14 years to double. You know, at 10%, might be 7.2. So this is how we can use Excel to, to make these calculations easily. Because obviously you can do this on your calculator and always input this. But, you know, Excel's got these log functions right in here. So it's really easy to, to just put that in there. Ultimately, you just need to know two things. What sort of growth rate you're wanting to get to and the current growth rate or the growth rate that you're forecasting for the future of this period. So that's how you can quickly calculate the doubling rates in Excel. Another uh, quick tip I can share with you is that if you wanted to shortcut it and say you didn't want to do these calculations, um, uh, the log calculations, a quick way you can uh, estimate this is by using the rule of, of 72. In that case, you take 72 divided by your growth rates. So 72 divided by 10, would be 7.2 years. So it's really close to that logarithmic calculation. Now, now let's use something less round than just 10% because obviously that's a bit too convenient. Let's say, you know, 7.89%, right? So we've got 9.12, right? So if we do 72, to, now obviously you wouldn't be able to do this one in your head. It's a bit too too specific. But for the sake of testing, you can see it's, it's, it's fairly close, a fairly good estimate. Let's say if we use some something really high, like 25%, right? So if we do that, you know, then, then there's a bit more of, of a gap, but it still gets you in that same ballpark, whether you're talking about 2.9 or 3.1. Arguably, that's not a huge difference, especially when you're talking about years. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. So this is just more of a generic uh, one, the rule of 72. This is when you... When you're dealing with really round growth rates when you're not looking at you know 2.34 percent or you really need to be really specific if you want to be specific then use the log function so that's how you can calculate growth rates and calculate the time to, to doubling or tripling whatever the case may be and using excel you can make that process make that calculation really easily